Well, y'all gonna get this in a minute because we gotta unpack it the right way. Remember, this is David talking. This is his last song before we get to Psalm 150. This is the one. And, and so this is so important in how we see us. Because it's not your last name. God is saying, oh, this ain't it. And yet so many times in the world today, we're dealing with some mental issues. We're dealing with health issues. We're dealing with suicide and, and all these things. But God brings the word to you today. I'm talking to maybe there's somebody on the internet. Maybe there's someone in your in your in your circle of influence. I told you, because you're gonna hear this again. And, and maybe there's an opportunity for you to lead them to the word of God. You can encourage them. Live a one-on-one -on -one life. Somebody here today understands now because when you have, and I'm just not talking about man and woman. I'm talking about every relationship. I'm talking about man and woman. I'm talking about friendships. I'm talking about family. I'm talking about people you were about to meet in the grocery store. And God has come along to say, first of all, you got to understand how what we see in relationship, even with your own children. Hey. <laughs> I see it right too. With your own children. And it, it don't mean, it still means the word of God, train up a child. It, it don't mean you got to be friends with them, you just train them up. That's a relationship. You can't be friends with your children. You got to train them up. And every now and then, that means understanding our relationship. That's a one-on-one. -on -one. Just like with your husband. That's a one-on-one. -on -one. With my wife. That's a one-on-one. -on -one. With the one I'm dating. That's a one-on-one. -on -one. Y'all caught that. <laughs> Amen. 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 Y'all shot this motherfucker. Y'all on this. I just don't keep it moving. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's marriage one on one. Yeah, I'm still dating. Somebody gonna catch that. I'm still dating. And, and all of a sudden, we understand we both have to have the same, watch this. We got to have the same goals and same ideas. We got to have it, y'all. You can't, look, look. Can I say it this way? You can't have a relationship. You can't start a relationship. You can't be in a relationship until y'all have some time to understand what's your goal. Look, what's your idea? Do you believe in Jesus? Woo! 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 That's a deal breaker. That's a deal breaker. I'm sorry. That's a deal breaker. Amen. See, watch this. It don't matter if you have more money than me. But we can't start out that way. Because that's going to lead into something. Because then you're going to start feeling like you have dominion. Ooh, come on, somebody say ouch. You ain't got dominion over me. You must be crazy. Come on. Yeah. And, and so I'm building up an understanding and all you're getting, get what? Understanding. Thank you. And you've got to understand that's not how you start a relationship. You ain't going to have dominion over me. That's right. No matter what happened yesterday. That's right. Amen. 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 Say amen, somebody. Yeah, yeah. Amen. <laughs> you got to understand. <laughs> I said I'm going to preach this. One can't have more than the other to start out. You can't. You, it's not physically possible. <laughs> it ain't physically possible. It can't happen. Because down the road, it's going to lead into things. 
And all of a sudden we see, we take on the characteristics of who created us. See, see, you got to understand, we take on the characteristics. And, and so that leads us back to the sixth day of life. Because yeah. man was created. And, and God lets us know, everything he created was good. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody help me here. Yeah. So, so in other words, I'm understanding what God is saying. Because God created, or watch this. God created a relationship yeah. in us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are already pre-programmed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See, just like this technology stage, we are in the age of, of electric cars, in the age of artificial intelligence, in the age of all computer. Every, every kid in, in elementary school got a laptop. We are in that age, y'all. Mm -hmm. But but in the midst of that, that's actually a relationship now. You you have to come compatible with how to use computers. Amen. You got to be compatible in understanding that generation. Watch this. I'm going right back to the word of God. Because in other words, God allows us to understand. No matter, even though this is a 2,000 year word, we could bring it to the 21st century. And God is saying, in everything you do, you actually got to have a relationship with your car. Watch this. If you don't know the car can't start, guess what? Women, it's all right to call somebody. It's okay. Men, don't do it. Don't you do it. You figure it out. You figure that car out. Now this is just for the men. You need to have a relationship with whatever's going on in your life. If there's something going on in the house, figure it out. If there's something going wrong with the car, figure it out. Amen. And God comes along and says, I'm going to bring your help me. You figure it out. Y'all don't miss that. <laughs> you figure them out. Because men are from Mars and women are from Venus. That's a good book. You got to understand the good book helps you understand who you really are. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Because when you accept him for who he is, he's, he's God all the time. He was God yesterday. He's God today. And he's God forevermore. Yes. And, and God has come and created you to have life. Yes. And life more abundantly. Right. Ain't that what the word tells me? Yeah. So, 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 so it was God who sent the son that whosoever believes in him shall not what? Yes. Perish. Live a one-on-one -on -one life. You shall not perish with him. In other words, God is saying something supernaturally. He's saying something in the spirit. But we'll get there in a minute. Let me go on and continue on with this course because God is trying to help somebody today. God gave me this word to let you know. Make sure we have what God has for you at the start. See, in a relationship, God helps us. He helps us to know us first. See, see, when you know us, I'm going to just say it like this. When you know us's, see, you got to know you, and you are the us's. All right. So you can't get into nobody else's yeah. until right. you understand us's. All right, yeah. I, I, you got to understand us's. Yeah. And, and, and so, that allows you to say, hey, this is where you got to meet me. Right. You got to meet me here. Yes, sir. Because I know us. Yeah. And I know how I'm going to be down the road. That's right. right. You better learn me. You showing up. Showing up. I, you better learn me. In, in other words, some people say it like this, you, you, better, you, you better suspect me. Yeah. <laughs> right. 
You better suspect me. You better. Trust me, you don't want to get come down this road. Because I'm still who I am. I ain't trying to hide behind this pulpit. You better suspect me. Somebody gonna get this in me. Cause you look, let me say it like this. You know who you are. Yes, sir. And, and God created you. But but something happened. We know that Genesis 3 Romans 3 and 23, we all have fallen. Yeah. And, and so all of a sudden, something happened. God built it in you, but something happened. And, and the enemy just loves it because he don't want you to really know who you really are. Yeah, that's right. Say that, Pastor. Oh, somebody going to get that. this. This is some good stuff, y'all. Yeah, you got to understand, <laughs> the enemy think you belong to him. Yeah. And he loves it every day when you do what you do. Yes, sir. And, and so God got churches all over the world <laughs> in the name of Jesus. And, and so God, watch this, he, he tells us, he raises the sufferer. Not only does he raise the sufferer, but, but God feeds our spirit. And, and not only do, does God feed our spirit, but God satisfies our soul. So, so, so God, he, he's, he's bringing us in the text because you got to understand, since you have fallen, He going to raise you up. That's right. See, because he sent his only begotten son. He sent God. God came himself and showed us a way. He made a way out of no way. And, and so when he raised up, guess what happened? I got raised up. In other words, <laughs> if he said, if I be lifted up, Ouch. What? Oh. 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 The words say all. Oh. All oh. 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 people unto him. I know it said men, but we but we gonna say brethren. Just like in the King James. Brethren yeah. means men and women. Yeah. Brethren. We all gonna get raised up because if God be lifted up, yeah. if Jesus got up from the dead. Oh, he died, y'all. Yeah. He died. Yeah. Oh, he died. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He died for me. And, and so God raises the sufferer. He, when, when we see a beautiful butterfly, when we, how many of you have seen butterflies? Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. They, they, they as good as my wife, man. They're <laughs> they just beautiful. And, and all of a sudden, when, when we see these beautiful butterflies, we we don't look, look, watch this. Watch this. I know y'all still laughing. Come on, come on. Come on, walk with me. Listen, listen, listen. We don't see what that butterfly been through to break out of its cocoon. That's right. Y'all understand me? See, 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 God raises the sufferer. So in other words, in all that I've gone through, you don't see what I've been through. In other words, I, you you hear you hear people say, "I don't look like what I've been through," right, right. And, and so that's what God is saying in that first point. God is raising, just like He was telling David. Don't you know David started out real good? And, and that's a relationship with God. He started out real good. And then all, you know, again, things happen in our life. So, so, so God said, I'll raise you up because I, if I be lifted up, I'm going to draw you back to me. So, so God is saying it ain't going to be easy. I'm talking to somebody today. It ain't going to be easy. You somebody going through some stuff. It ain't going to be easy, but he going to raise you out of that situation. He going to raise you out of your circumstances. He going to raise you out of what you suffer. Does anybody hear what I'm saying? God, he is the I am that I am. He, he told Moses. Uh, wherever you step, this is holy 
the ground. I need you to know who I am. Yes. God comes along and he allows us to know that he's going to raise the sufferer up. But not only that, God is going to feed our spirit. Not only will he raise you up, God ain't just going to leave you where you at. Somebody need to hear me. Uh, when you know Jesus, uh, you got to understand. He just ain't going to, he said, I never, look, I'm going to give you scripture. He said, I never, 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 I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. If God will raise you up, oh, I feel my help now. God will come along and let you know I ain't going to leave you. I want you to live. I want you to live. Uh, and all of a sudden, uh, God raises you up out of your dark situations. Uh, yeah, you know we walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Relationship with God. It's a one-on-one -on -one relationship. 
relationship. Then I could be with my wife. I could, I could be with her. I could, I could be with my children. I could be with my child because all of a sudden God <laughs> satisfies me. Uh, uh, when you put your trust in him, lean not to your own understanding. He satisfies me. He gives me what I need. He tells me where to go. He uh, lift me up, Lord. Lift me up, Jesus. Every day when I wake up in the morning.
have a little talk with Jesus. Yeah. What is it that makes you who you are? In mind, spirit, body, and soul. What is it? What is it that makes you, you? What is it? I need you to just meditate on that. Just spend time on that this week. Because God wants you to understand, you got to know you so you can have them. And when you understand the us's, then you can understand. Yeah. That's so important because the enemy will come right in the middle of you thinking, don't speak it, don't speak it. Because as soon as he speaks, as soon as you speak, the enemy will come and tag you. So don't speak it. That's why I say meditate. The Bible says meditate on the word what? Day, Day and what? Night. They say that because that's a spiritual discipline. And God is saying, don't speak it. Don't speak it. Do not speak it. Let the word of God meditate in you. And so now the spirit of God bears witness with what? Your, Your spirit. spirit. That you a child of God. Yes. And God is just saying, let the spirit do what it do. Yeah. As we say, let it do what it do. And all of a sudden, you discover Jesus has more power than you could ever imagine. Oh. And he's come along to say, don't lose this one-on-one -on -one with me. Because we don't want a one-on-one -on -one with the devil. No. We don't want that. No. But we don't know that's happening. Watch this. He comes to what? Sift. You might what? Weep. And God is saying, I got you. I got you. But meditate on me. <laughs> All of a sudden, your problems disappear. Your situations dissipate. Your circumstances are gone. God starts blessing you more than you've ever seen before in your life. <laughs> because you accepted him. And all of a sudden, just like the song today, you gave yourself away. And you don't have to do nothing but just meditate on his word day and night. Your spirit is first. You are spirit, y'all. You are spirit. And, and so let the spirit do what it do. You'll start loving yourself more and more and more and more. Because his love is not the same as our love. That's right. <laughs> So he's his greater love, as we used to sing in Sunday school. There's no greater love. There's no greater love than his. God wants you to know that even on today. He got up and he said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw people to him. Yeah. He lets us know. I got you through your suffering. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil because God is with me. We understand his love because he's satisfied and he feeds our spirit. Guys, haven't we had enough of the world feeding us? Can we spend some time with God? And have that one on one, that one on one love that came because of Calvary. That's all the word is saying today. 
you, you got to get tired of social media and all the negativity. You got to be tired. And God comes along and lets us know, I have given you all that you need. And he left us with the third person of the Trinity, the Holy Ghost. In that joy, yes. God and hang up a praise. Every head bowed, every heart humble. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God lets us know that He is who He says He is. Repeat after me Heavenly Father, I accept you, your only begotten Son, and I Open my heart to him for life everlasting. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We thank God for our community and audience. We thank God for the blessings. We'll see you all next week. Amen.